Renault Duster 2010 2020 years of release. Good day, if you are wondering is it worth buying a Renault Duster and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So if you look closely at the Duster driving on our roads, on many of them you can find cracks in the windshield. In most cases their appearance is a result of body distortion. There are enough complaints about the quality of the painting. The worst situation is with those specimens that are painted with paints without a metallic effect. Literally 2-3 years is enough for the acrylic to become noticeably dim and overgrown with many small chips and scratches. The door seal situation on a used duster is even more depressing. Thick door seals will often rub the paintwork down to the metal. Naturally, bare thresholds are practically unprotected from corrosion. Another potentially dangerous spot is the metal under the shiny trim on the tailgate. Rust can be expected in the area of the trunk opening. In the spruce, trees, the creators of Duster didn't even cover it with a cheap plastic cover, because of which the threshold is scratched every now and then when loading and unloading things. If you really care about the car, then the doors in the lower part and the rear arch should be pasted over with a protective transparent film. Otherwise, pebbles and sand flying from under the wheels will quickly leave hundreds of small defects on them and in the future they will completely deprive them of their paint and varnish coating. The silver paint on the seals and front bumper makes the duster look a little more interesting, but the painted parts are very far from real aluminum. After 2-3 years the silver coating begins to peel off, which however negatively affects only the appearance of the car itself. Over the years the appearance of the French crossover is also spoiled by the cloudy caps of the front optics. An interesting feature, before the restyling no seals were provided and the, the windshield washer nozzles. At first the duster owners didn't pay attention to this trifle, and only then it turned out that water or non-freezing liquid dripped from under the nozzles and went straight to the ignition coil. The latter is very sensitive to moisture, which is why it quickly fails. To make matters worse, many duster owners didn't pay attention to the triplet and continued to ride on three cylinders. And since there is no automatic shutdown of the fuel supply to the problem cylinder on the duster, unburned gasoline goes directly into the catalytic converter. The failure of the letter in this case is a matter of time. As a result, the manufacturer's savings on cheap seals often led to repairs, which cost 40-50 thousand rubles. It's not surprising that on most Renault Duster that were released before the restyling, the injectors have long been planted on a sealant. The second option for solving the problem is to install parts of a new sample, although in this case it will not hurt to treat the joints of the windshield washer system with a sealant. The French crossover in principle loves to have its owners put their hands on it and modify something. For example, carrying owners immediately after buying a car install a different seal around the perimeter of the engine compartment. Unfortunately, the standard seal doesn't cope with its function in the best way, which is why after 10-15 thousand kilometers the duster engine compartment is covered with a layer of dust. There is no big sense from regular mud flaps. Their function is rather aesthetic, they practically do not protect the body, so quite often small standard mud flaps were scrapped immediately after buying a car, and their place was taken by large mud flaps, protecting the radiator honeycomb of the cooling system with a fine mesh hidden behind the radiator grill is another must-have for any duster. Those owners of a French crossover who plan to periodically drive them to rough terrain should worry about refining their cars all the more. On a duster with gasoline power units, it's imperative to protect the fuel tank, catalytic converter and rear gearbox. However, in this case it's worth making a reservation that the basic versions of the duster had only front-wheel drive. Such cars have nothing to do on the off-road. The creators of Renault Duster had to save literally everyone. This is especially felt in the cabin. Often, even with a mileage of 60-80 thousand kilometers, the interior of a French crossover doesn't look entirely neat. The silver paint on the inserts in, on the dashboard quickly gets scratched and worn out, and the seat upholstery stretches or even bursts at the seams. On the other hand, this is offset by the fact that the mechanical component of the Renault Duster is very good. Even the DP0 automatic transmission, known for its capriciousness, proved to be quite good on the Duster, in particular due to the fact that during the audit in 2013, the engineers managed to overcome many inherent problems. Nevertheless, to say that the automatic duster will not present any problems in any case is impossible. The box still needs to be warmed up before starting. Driving on cold and increased loads quickly disable the valve block. 
In addition, the GP0 series automatic loves fresh oil, although Renault officially claims that the box doesn't need oil service at all. It's necessary to renew the lubricant every 80,000 kilometers. In this case, you can count on the hydraulics in the box to last at least 150,000 kilometers. With careful driving and regular maintenance, the rest of the components of the automatic transmission can even hold up out up to a mileage of 220 to 150,000 kilometers. As a result, it turns out that you should not be afraid of the Renault Duster Automatic. The main thing is to do everything possible so that it doesn't fail ahead of time. Fortunately, it's not that difficult. In theory, the reliability of a manual transmission should be much higher, but this assumption doesn't apply to cars of the first years of production. Many owners were faced with the fact that oil was completely leaking out of the manual gearbox. The reason was found quickly. It turned out that the oil was leaking out due to improperly installed oil seals. But with that, at what moment the marriage was allowed, leading to such serious consequences, there is still no clarity. The main problem with the duster manual gearbox is the clutch. Moreover, in this case, we are not talking about the lining of the driven disc, but about weak springs. It's logical that at the first opportunity, the owners of duster changed the original for something stronger and more durable. Buyers of duster also need to know that the release bearing and uh, the slave cylinder in the mechanical box are one. And the complex design turned out to be capricious and not the most reliable. Someone managed to drive all 150,000 kilometers before replacing the node, someone only 50,000 kilometers. Strange constructive solutions include laying a plastic pipe under the hydraulic main. Damaging it off-road is as easy as shelling piers. The carton also suffers from frequent trips to rough terrain. If it fails, you will have to fork out very seriously, since the French company in case of repairs offers to buy a set of shaft and cross pieces. Of course, in an attempt to save money, you can try to find a good craftsman who can replace the cross pieces and then balance the system, but there are not many of them even in large cities. In the provinces, this is practically a futile occupation. Interestingly, Renault officially sells any manufactured drive shafts, but it will be much cheaper to sort out the existing gimbal. Moreover, sensible craftsmen will certainly offer to install reinforced cross pieces, which moreover will be equipped with regular oiler. Such crosses will require regular maintenance, but they will also last much longer than standard ones. It's highly discouraged to drive the duster for any faults in the transmission. The imbalance quickly kills not only the shaft itself, but also many other parts of the transmission. In addition, driving with the broken cross pieces can even lead to a breakage of the propeller shaft. Complete wheel drives will also have to be bought. It only saves that the CV joints on the Renault Duster can withstand about 200,000 km. You can ignore the crunch of CV joints that appears with the onset of rust. This is considered normal. Apparently, the factory grease turned out to be too thick. As for the clutch in, all, in the all-wheel drive system, there are no comments on it. Only on cars that were released in the early years of production, four-wheel drive used to be buggy. Renault specialists worked for a very long time on changing the firmware of the electronic control unit, but in the end the fresh software turned out to be very successful. The all-wheel drive transmission has finally stopped being capricious for no apparent reason. A certain share of criticism during the production of Duster went to the workers of the Aftoframos plant, where the Russian production of the French crossover was established. Underfilling oil in the distributor and gearbox is a common thing for localized duster. Even worse, the update of these technical fluids is not officially prescribed anywhere, which is why many crossovers still drive at an insufficient level. Ideally, the oil in the distributor and the gearbox should be renewed after a run of 70-75,000 km. The ideal powertrain for Renault Duster is a 1.5 liter turbo diesel. Not the most impressive power figures can be ignored. Thanks to the excellent traction at low revs, the diesel version is very pleasant to drive. Of course, the diesel engine is not without a number of disadvantages and his, its own characteristics. First, it's very picky about fuel quality. There are cases when, due to poor diesel fuel, the piezo injectors had to be changed after 20-25 thousand kilometers. Secondly, the diesel engine doesn't like dirty oil very much. Those owners who want to extend the life of the engine as much as possible, without hesitation, you reduce the oil change interval to 7-8 thousand kilometers. Otherwise, the turbocharged cartridge will never be able to serve the plant 150 to 100,000 kilometers. In addition, dirty oil can reduce the resource of the connecting rod bearings to a minimum, after which you will have to fork out for overhaul of the power unit. 
On those Renault Duster that were released after the restyling of 2015, the diesel engine has become a little more powerful. Instead of the previous 90 horsepower, it began to develop 109 horses. The main differences between the restyled engine and the old one are the presence of the turbine geometer and the particulate filter. There are no complaints about both systems at the moment. The geometry of the turbine is not prone to acidification and the particulate filter clocks closer to a mileage of 200,000 km. As for the disadvantages, they include a weaker high-pressure fluid pump than the previous engine. Although in any case, you, if you do not fill the tank with an outright surrogate, it doesn't serve less than 150,000 km. The injectors on the restyled engine, on the other hand, have become stronger and are no longer so sensitive to low-quality fuel. Choosing a duster with a gasoline engine, you should first of all decide on the volume of the power unit itself. For the French crossover, two gasoline engines were offered, a volume of 1.6 and 2.0 liters. Before restyling, these units respectively belong to the K4M and F. For R series. In both engines, regardless of the volume, the breakage of the timing belt ends with the bent valves. In the secondary market, crossovers with a 2 liter engine are presented wider, but this power unit also has more weak points. The phase regulator couplings on the 2.0 liter engine turned out to be very delicate. There are more than enough examples when they couldn't withstand even 70-80 thousand kilometers. The characteristic diesel crackle from under the hood should never be heard. Another common problem with the 2 liter engine is fast ticking oil scraper rings. This usually happens to around 130-150 thousand kilometers as evidenced by the emergence of a strong oil appetite, but otherwise the 2.0 liter gasoline engine does not cause any serious problems. With a younger 1.6 liter engine, even fewer problems are expected, although it's not necessary to say that they will not exist at all. Owners will have to deal with both an unreliable crankshaft sensor, a crankcase ventilation system that is prone to overgrowing with deposits and weak drive belt rollers of the attachment. Another common problem is that the valve cover starts to fog up with oil more and more as the mileage increases. The throttle body gaskets were also not very durable. It's because of the leaky throttle that duster owners often complain about problems when starting the engine in winter. In 2015, Renault's 1.6 liter gasoline engine gave way to a Nissan sized unit of the same volume of the H4M series. The new motor boasts a reliable timing chain drive and no hydraulic lifters. Of course, every 100,000 km you will have to deal with the selection of valve lifters, but this procedure has been worked out by the mechanics who are well aware of this engine for a long time. The disadvantages of a 1.6 liter engine from Nissan include a poor quality intake pipe gasket as well as a rapidly breaking right engine mount. An important feature, if earlier a cast iron cylinder block was used in a 1.6 liter engine which was easily bored after a run of 500,000 km, then an aluminum block is used on a restyled 1.6 liter engine. At best it will withstand 300,000 km, after which it will have to be cased. The suspension is by far the strongest point of the Renault Duster. The struts and bushings of the anti-roll bar, depending on the operating conditions, serve from 50 to 70,000 km. Rear shock absorbers, ball joints and wheel bearings will have to be replaced at 100,000 km. Front shock absorbers and silent blocks may well hold out up to 120,000 km. However, there are examples when very neat owners who were lucky to drive on flat roads didn't change anything in their native suspension up to a mileage of 150,000 km. The price tag for the consumables of the suspension also turned out to be very democratic. Even the cost of non-removable factory ball valves turned out to be so small that it's easier to change the entire levers than to try to look for a specialist who will take up the replacement separately. Renault Duster turned out to be quite a reliable car, although not devoid of offensive shortcomings. However, choosing a used copy should be approached wisely. For those car enthusiasts who are not going to storm off-road and generally rarely leave flat asphalt or dirt roads, a version with a front-wheel drive, an initial 1.6-liter engine and a manual gearbox will be enough. With timely maintenance, such a car will last a very long time. Everyone else can recommend the Duster with a 1.5-liter diesel engine or a 2-liter gasoline engine. Both units are good. One has to only take into account that the automatic transmission of the diesel Duster is not supposed to. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.